All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time again. We got class changes coming in hot. Along with the launch of patch 1007 next week, we'll make adjustments to some classes that are underperforming or overperforming in end game content. Because of the timing of these changes, we intend to add uh, all of the following to the 1007 patch notes. Please note that some changes below affect talents that are new or redesigned in 1007 and should all be testable on the 1007 PTR soon. Priest Rhapsody now grants a stack every two seconds down from every five seconds, okay? Holy Burning Vengeance now causes Holy Fire to deal 30, 60% of initial damage to all nearby enemies. Was 15 slash 30%. Shaman. Swirling Currents increases the healing done by Healing Stream Totem by 40%, 80% for Elemental. Was 20. Oh, Healing Stream buff for Elemental Shaman. Interesting. Swirling Currents, okay. Healing Stream got buffed for Shaman and Enhancement. Affliction Warlock. Dark uh, Vitriosity now increases the damage of Shadowable and Drain Soul by 5, 10% was 15.30, so Affliction, Shadowball, and Drain Soul got nerfed. Kindle Malice now increased the damage of Malefic Rapture and Seed of Crusher by 4.8, so Malefic Rapture got nerfed. Demonology, Felguard, Auto Attack damage increased by 20%. Wild Imp damage increased by 20%. Wow. Wild Fiend damage increased by 20%. Destruction, Warlock, all damage by 3%. Okay. So Affliction got nerfed so far. Well, let's see the PvP changes. All right, Pit Player Slayer. Glacial Spike now deals 15% less damage, and Master Scaling is now 60% effective in PvP combat. Glacial is dead. It's dead. Uh, it's dead. Actually dead. This change, plus the crit change in 10-1, Glacial is dead, 100%. So, as a compensation, Frostbolt deals 100% increased damage in PvP combat. Was 50%. We'll see how this goes. I mean, there might be a build where Frostbolt is actually pretty decent. Uh, I'll have to test it and check it out. Frostbolt might actually hit super fucking hard. Like, really, really hard. That's a huge buff. Fro it's not like Frostbolt does bad damage right now. This could actually be like... There's a world where we see like 90k Frostbolts. Maybe more. So Frostbolt buffed. And keep in mind, yeah, the next tier buffs Frostbolt too. So Frostbolt might just be insane. I'm, I'm really not sure. Execution Sentence is now 65% effective in PvP combat. So I guess they nerfed Execution Sentence. Wake of Ashes now deals 100 or deals 200 20% less damage in PvP combat was 32%. Okay, so Wake of Ashes got buffed. Um Protection Uther's Council effectiveness reduced by 33% in PvP combat. Righteous Protector effectiveness reduced by 50% in PvP combat. Okay. Renew healing is now increased by 22%. So they buff renew. Prender mending also got a little bit of a buff. Holy heal, uh, heal healing is now increased by 43%, was 35%. So heal heal healing got buffed. Uh, flash heal healing is now increased by an additional 6% in PvP combat. These are targeted buffs to Holy Priest overall throughput, which has continued to fall behind other healers. So Holy Priest did get some buffs. Oh my God, okay. Subtlety. Dark Shadows effectiveness is now reduced by 20% PvP combat. Oh God, man, I don't like Subtlety Rose getting nerfed because Subtlety Rose are going to blame me. They're going to be like, Then Rookie got subtlety nerfed. And that Rep Paladins are coming too. Then Rookie got Rep Paladins nerfed. Well, guess what? Glacial Spike got nerfed, and that was my favorite ability. Okay, so cry me a freaking river. Dance uh, Macabre effectiveness reduced by 33% in PvP combat. Okay, I don't know what that does. I don't know what this does. Perforated Veins effectiveness reduced by 25% in PvP combat. Gloomblade damage increased. So they buffed Gloomblade and they buffed Backstab, but I think they nerfed some of their modifiers. Is that correct? I'm going to assume that these three are modifiers and these threes are just damage. So, um, yeah. So the modifiers got nerfed and their consistent damage got buffed. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Dude, Affliction. Oh, shit. Affliction. Dark Glare from Summon Dark Glare now has 80% more health. So you're not going to be able to kill Dark Glare anymore. Corruption damage increased by 10%. Agony damage increased by 10%. Siphon life damage increased by 20%. Okay. Focus Malignancy increases Malefic Rapture damage by 10, 20% PV combat. Was 1530. These changes are targeted at improving Affliction's instant cast damage while offsetting the potential burst from Malefic Rapture. No, dot damage is good, man. Dark Lair, so Dark Lair um, in 10.7 is actually getting buffed. So not only is Dark Lair getting buffed through the talents. So you have to remember, guys, there's a lot of changes. These aren't the only changes. These are in conjunction with the talent tree changes. So... I'm pretty sure 
That Agony is already getting buffed, so this is a further buff to Agony. Dark Lair is getting buffed. It's a further buff to Dark Lair. Uh, Rapture is going to hit less hard, but yeah. You know. uh, so Mage is getting those two changes, and that's it for 10-7. Yeah, so Arcane Mage has got zero changes. Fire Mage has got zero changes, and Frost Mage has got Glacial nerfed and Frostbolt buffed. That's the only changes for Mage in 10-07. Windwalker also got zero, essentially zero changes, which is sad for me, but whatever. Uh, Destruction, Bane of Havoc now has an 18 second initial uh, internal cooldown with Mayhem Talented. Incinerate no longer deals increased damage in PvP. I think this is going to make it so people don't really play this. I think people won't be playing that as much anymore, to be honest. Uh, incinerate no longer deals increased damage in PvP combat. Shadowburn damage is now increased by 25%. So they actually nerfed. That's a very interesting decision. We want build with instant cast to be viable while pref uh, preferring that the spec rely on chaos bolts for most kills. Okay, well, that's okay. Well, they Shadowburn damage is now increased. Oh, they actually nerfed Shadowburn. Okay, so they nerfed Shadowburn and they nerfed Incinerate. Okay. I feel like these are decent nerfs to destruction. I don't really know. I'm not sure. Yeah, the crit change will. So that, that's the thing. Next patch in 10 1, a lot of there's going to be a lot of problems. I'm a, I'm, I'm a bit afraid for some of the crit reliant classes, but yeah. Fatality now stacks Fatal Mark up to a maximum of eight times against players was 20. Okay. So a little Arms Warrior, what is that, an Execute nerf? Your Destro changes, it's way too easy to get a lot of damage off his Destro. Fair enough. Um, I actually think Frostbolt might actually slap for Frost Mages. Could be good. I'm curious. I'm really, really curious. Uh, but yeah, interesting changes. Uh, glad they decided to... Uh, do some of these. I like the healing stream got buffed for Ellie. Uh, Shaman, doesn't Frostbolt already hit for like 40k? Frostbolt can do a lot of damage. If you have all the talents, Frostbolt can do a lot more damage than people realize. A lot more damage than people realize. I think Frostbolt will hit very hard. I truly do. But the problem is like, so here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. If you want my honest feedback about Mage, this is what I think, okay? Like in order, in order to get the Frostbolt talents, you have to give up Ice Lance talents. What, what's, what do you think is more viable in PvP? Casting a bunch of Frostbolts or Ice Lance? So it's like that's that's the trade-off, right? If you're gonna go for like a big Frostbolt build, you have to give up a lot, a lot of Ice Lance damage, which I don't know, probably not worth it, but we'll see. We will see. I will say, Glacial, I think, did a bit too much damage with its crits and top ends, but I, I do I do genuinely believe that Glacial is probably just dead now. Like, I don't think you're ever going to play it. Those are really big nerfs. And when the crit change comes as well, yeah, I think Glacial just is killed, which is a bit sad because Glacial is such a fun spell.